first responders remember Lafayette Police Senior Corporal Jolivet at his funeral. I'm Samantha Loren here in St. Landry Parish, hearing the lasting impact he's made on neighboring agencies. Thousands of people filled our Savior's church in Opelousas to pay their respects to fallen senior corporal Sejus Jolivet. Local, state, and out-of-state agencies all have a tie to Jolivet. Port Bar Chief of Police Dion Boudreau says he worked with him a time or two in the parish, honoring his dedication to serve. Sejus was certainly a, a cop among cops, a man among men when it comes to his career. And I'd expect nothing less than what we, should, we have here today. He will remember Jolivet for his bravery. He's a brave man. He's a hero in my book. And uh, our prayers are certainly for his family, his agency, and, and all of us in, in the, the Blue family. Karen Crow Police Chief David Anderson says there's one thing in particular that stood out about Jolivet, his high spirits. Every time I've ever spoke to him or had any type of dealings with him, uh, that smile was the first thing you see on him and that can-do attitude was was always projected from him and man what a great great loss uh, not only to that agency Lafayette Police Department but to our whole community. For both chiefs they say there was a sense of togetherness in the large crowds of those who work on the line of duty. In the law enforcement world we are actually one big family you know no matter what agency you work for and a tragedy like, like this happens uh, it, it hurts all of us and we know when we sign up that this could happen, but we don't want it to happen. I tell you, to see officers from every corner of this state, uh, from outside of this state, so many that hold that thin blue line each and every day are here to pay their respects. I know from my agency, Karen Crow Police Department, uh, and, and all the agencies around here, uh, we truly just want to help Lafayette Police Department and in any way they need right now to help them get through these tough times.